Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us today uh, to the symposium Implication of Ukraine Russia Digital Conflict on Democracy. This event is co hosted by Keio University Global Research Institute uh, 2030 Project and Cyber Civilization uh, Research Center. My name is Haruna Kawashima, uh, Project Associate Professor at KGRI, and I'm I'll be uh, your MC today. This symposium is a part of the endowed courses of KGLI, uh, supported respectively by the MUFG Bank and Z Holdings. Our college students and affiliate high school students will, be fo uh, will follow this event too, online or on demand. I'd like to address the special thanks to the MUFG Bank and the Z Holdings for their support. It is a particular honor to have Professor Lawrence Lessig to today on our campus after the two online dialogues uh, holding 2019 and last December. Uh, actually, it was uh, planned to be held on, uh, on per in person, but it turned into the uh, online because of the COVID restrictions. So thank you to Professor Lawrence Lessig to um, sharing with us your passion and uh, your patience <laughs> and uh, to take this event on site despite all the, uh, all the uh, challenges uh, because of the, due to the uh, COVID restrictions. Before the symposium starts, please note that we would like to address the speakers today uh, with uh, their family name and son in the Japanese style, like Leshig san uh, This is a way to uh, call each other in the Keio University, and we appreciate your understanding. So to kick off the symposium, we are pleased to have uh, Professor uh, Amagai uh, Masayuki, Vice President of Keio University, to start the symposium. Amagai san, please. Hello, everybody. Thank you very much for your introduction. My name is Amagai, and I'm the Vice President of KO University. The research project KO 2040 and CCRC co-hosted symposium. In opening this event, I would like to provide a few remarks. First of all, Professor Lawrence Lessig. Although the circumstances were difficult, we are very grateful that you have traveled all the way from the United States to KO. And in the past, over a few occasions, we were planning this event, but we were not able to do so because of COVID. However, today, we are now seeing the realization of the event. And we also have Dr. Yusuke Narita, assistant professor at Yale University, who is here today with us. Thank you so much for your participation as well. And first of all, I would like to touch upon the topic of uncertainty. And uncertainty is something that I have inside of me, as well as perhaps something that you are familiar with as well. Over the past few years, there have been many major events, 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic started and my background is in medicine. I am at the Shinanomachi campus teaching medicine and we were impacted by the wave of COVID similarly as well. In that situation, whether or not I felt fear or uncertainty, I actually did not. Because in terms of COVID-19, this was a common enemy that we had globally across the world. And we had all of our colleagues and people at the campus as well who were combating the same enemy. It was a very difficult time. However, it was not something that I felt as strong fear. However, February 14th, 
2022, Russia invaded Ukraine. Post-World War II, the common platform that humanity has built Overnight, this was overturned, and this was when I was struck with a strong sense of fear. And in that, our colleagues at KGRI, as well as Toshihiro Nakahiro-san and Yoko Hirose-san, Satsuhiko Yamamoto-san, Tsuchiya-san, we had a seminar that we hosted and we were able to take away some of that uncertainty. We also had another big source of uncertainty, which was the assault on the state ho capital house in the US in January, and a hearing was conducted on that as well. The Trump supporters, as well as the facts that happened, we are all very surprised what sort of activities or thoughts that were going on amongst the Trump supporters and Pence and what was happening at the time. Trump supporters and their emotions, it seems like no matter what sort of facts we throw at them, it does not change. And to this, I feel a very strong sense of fear. And perhaps this is coming from the fact that we are not yet still one and when I studied abroad in the US, I have very fond memories and I have very high respect in regards to the American people and seeing them divided and not being one, I feel very worried about this. And what are we to welcome in the coming years? In that question, thinking about social media social networks and democracy, I believe this is a very big topic. I'm not a political scholar nor a constitutional scholar. I'm not an expert, however, towards the fear that I have right now, I feel that today's symposium will be able to bring about high expectations and hope. And I also believe that for myself and for all of you in the audience as well, I hope that this will help to lessen a little bit and soften the fear and so that this time will be productive for all of you that will be all for my opening remarks thank you very much Thank you, Amagai-san, for your opening remarks. Uh, I would like to give a housekeeping announcement. Uh, uh, th for those who participate in the online, please make sure to choose your language at the bottom of the slide uh, of the Zoom system. Uh, the online de sanka sare teiru minasama, 音声を聞くために必ずズームのシステム上で通訳言語を選ぶようにしてください。そうしませんと言語が聞こえませんので音声が聞こえませんのでよろしくお願いいたします。Alright. So, um, next we have Professor Tatsuhiko Yamamoto. Uh, from Keio University Law School and the Deputy Director of KGLI uh, to share with us the objective of the, of the symposium. Yamamoto-san, please. Thank you for the introduction. Um, I'm Tatsuhiko Yamamoto, uh, Professor of Constitutional Law. Um, of Keio University Law School and uh, Deputy Director of KJLI. Now, first of all, uh, I have to say that um, thank you all for um, taking time out of your busy schedules um, <clears throat> to attend KJLI Symposium. Although thing, things haven't got back um, to normal yet, I thank you from the bottom of, of my heart uh, to Professor um, Lessig 
um, to um, come to Japan and visit us um, here in Keio University. Um, I guess many of you joining us um, uh, Japanese speakers, um, and um, I also heard that uh, brilliant interpreters, um, simultaneous interpreters uh, here um, with us too. Um, therefore, I would like to speak in Japanese from now on. Um, of course, um, that's easier for me. Um, so I would like to now speak in English, if I may. Well, in terms of democracy, well, in terms of having social network as a medium from outside, from inside, it is now exposed to very harsh attacks. But recently, war is a execution of military power. At the same time, it's an information warfare. Now it has changed to a so-called hybrid war. And today, the speaker today, Hirose-san, uh, is uh, the first one in order to advocate uh, the hybrid war. And she's a top-notch researcher. And of course, this uh, information warfare, the battlefield and theater is of course the social media. The other countries in terms of organizationally distributing news from fake news, uh, it is leading to the division and confusion of the general public in order to undermine democracy and fair election. These information warfare are always being conducted. And in that sense, war in social media is now become the norm. Well, in terms of democracy, not only from outside, there is also exposed from internal attacks. The social media business model recently is so-called attention economy. We now see a saturation of information. In the age of saturated information, the interest and time that we spend is against the information that is provided. It's going to be quite scarce. So information engagement is going to be a very valuable exchange asset. Uh, it's an economical basis. So in social media, which is free of charge, uh, limited time and attention are being uh, can utilize on this. And what's important in tension economy is the massive, of course, behavior log and personal data and users' preferences, attribute and emotion, and also uh, the uh, sociological uh, preferences and then uh, analyzing by means of profiling them. I would like to intentionally use the word reflection, reflection in term recommendation. TikTok, of course, have a strong recommendation showing a vertical scroll and have a swiping UX and utilizing this Scheme. In a way, it is uh, conducting an addictive uh, way in terms of a digital cocaine or ultimate slot machine that takes away the engagement. In this social uh, network, it is really stimulating the cognitive processes in order to take away the attention. Then, if the information is truth or not, it's not the importance. Rather than boring journalism, fake news is more stimulant and it can obtain engaged attention. And also strong recommendation by achieving strong engagement. The user will be surrounded by a similar assimilated information in terms of being confined in the filter bubble, bubble, in other words, the closed chamber. So their interest will not be towards the outside of the others or public. In this very closed chamber, yourself, and your political preferences, massive information of your similar comment will be flowing in. So therefore, there is a extreme, of course, way of the belief of politicals. In other words, the echo chamber is going to be creating a sort of like a tribe. And this tribe by tribe that's been cre created is a taking away the deep thinking and as a at the same time, it is going to take away and deprive the unity and sovereignty and solidarity of the state government, attention economy, whether it's direct or indirect, fake news and filter, bubble, echo chain, these are a risk to democracy. And of course, in terms of social networks, the structural, of course, chaos and confusion are leveraged by means of information warfare. So if democracy is sandwiched, the objective of symposium, uh, we have the honor of having the well, well known, the so-called living legend from Harvard Law School, Professor Lessing with us, uh, who is a, the top notch uh, uh, research and in order to understand what is going to happen af after the Russian aggression to Ukraine and to this status quo, what can we do? And in terms of the characteristics of KGRI, disciplinary and plus di uh, di disciplinary, of course, uh, discussion is what we would like to achieve. In social media, like Elon Musk is say saying, the libertarian uh, speech space uh, would be the case, or as EU has been saying, there is a certain level of uh, 
order and it has to be a hygiene space. Is it libertarian or is it a order formation model? What are we supposed to change? And what will be the role of the platform? What will be the role of the government? Then what will be the role of the users? We will hope that we'll be able to achieve a uh, understanding of this. And at the same time, uh, in terms of having the cognitive process of uh, the brain neurotics and also psychology and information science, we'll be able to really find the true meaning of democracy a metaverse and also virtual reality and technology in terms of what we have hoped for, the idea of the democ democracy we will need to ask ourselves where we are today and whether our uh, politics have a value of its own. In terms of digital society, who are we as humans? We have been dominated by algorithm. Are we uh, immersed in pleasure? Uh, are we just an animal of that kind? Or are we a political uh, living in order to see coexistence symposium in the community? Of course, this is all not going to be covered the symposium today, but it's a vital opportunity. So with Professor Lessing and also in terms of the, the radical question of what democracy withhold after the war in Ukraine is going to be so important. So again, in terms of the panelists today, uh, in terms of economical perspective, radically questioning, uh, we have from Yale University, Mr. Yusuke Narita, and also in Russia and former USSR, the expert in the policies, and very much first in information warfare, uh, we have Ms. Yoko Hirose, uh, also uh, is a faculty of policy management. And there will be a massive di discipline area of discussion from CCRRC, uh, we have uh, Mr. Kokurojiro, who will be uh, functioning as a moderator for the session. So we are very much looking forward to the, the uh, presentation from President Resting and also the panel discussion. Thank you very much.